Hey YouTube, Mech here, and this is another Battle Bryopsis video. This is dose number seven. Can't believe we are seven rounds into this. And uh, if you watched the last video, you saw that I had a few bare spots. It seems to be um, doing better. Uh, so here it is one of the bad spots that I really had. Uh, here is the one by the anemone. Uh, it, it just seems to be slowly uh, receding away. Um, I did clean off the MP40s. Uh, that one is pretty clear. This one has got a little bit on it, but not bad. So. Uh, yeah, it just seems to be getting a little clearer um, than the video before. So it is working. This is Vibrant. If uh, you have not been following this, uh, this product called Vibrant. It is from a company called Underwater Creations. Um, uh, their claim is that it will get rid of algae. So I had this terrible bryopsis problem that I created by my own doing and bad advice. Uh, if you've not been following this, I would suggest go watch uh, video number one and um, so you can kind of get a history of this tank and uh, what has been going on. Um, unfortunately, this video is not going to get loaded up when I want it to because my internet is down. It has completely crashed. Uh, it is either the line to the house or it is my modem itself. Um, my cable provider is coming out hopefully tomorrow. If not, might be next week. Um, so I apologize if this gets loaded up uh, later than it should. But I am loading the, or I'm doing the video. I do have the product ready. Um, but I did want to just kind of do a quick uh, video of what the tank is looking like. Um, it, the bryopsis isn't as long as it used to be. Uh, it has definitely started to recede. This rock really hasn't done a whole lot. There's Mr. Hawkfish um, from where I pulled it off. Um, it hasn't changed a whole lot. But the, some of the air, other areas uh, are just, I'm starting to see rock again. <laughs> I'm like amazed. Uh, so, yeah, um, round number seven going in here soon. Um, I'm truly amazed at this product. And uh, uh, there is a, a couple things that I do want to address. Um, I had a question uh, messaged to me and asking if it is necessary to turn the sump off while adding this product. And the actual answer is no. Uh, this was a question that was also asked on the Facebook uh, page for uh, Underwater Creations. And the actual answer is no. So why do I do it? Because I want this product to penetrate every nook and cranny in this display. So instead of it getting swept down the, the drain, so to say, and into the sump right away, uh, I turn the sump off just to let the product circulate for a good I think a half hour is more than enough time for it to, to circulate and penetrate all the little nooks and crannies of this tank um, you know again do I need to no uh, the answer is no uh, they have, have said you can leave your, your pumps running your sump running your protein skimmer running there's no need to turn any of that off uh, again being that my tank is what it is uh, I just feel that it is best to let that uh, product penetrate every place it possibly can before uh, I turn the pumps on. Uh, I would venture to guess, being that this problem is as it is in this section, I'm probably pretty sure there's some, probably some spores or whatever it is Bryopsis uses to uh, propagate itself uh, in the sump. So I'm not worried so much down there. Um, as I am up here, um, I don't really have any lights on down there, 
so I don't have to worry about uh, the light feeding it uh, any vitamin D or whatever it uses uh, to create photosynthesis. Um, so this is just really the main concern. I figure if it if it starts killing this stuff up here, whatever might possibly be in the sump is going to go away even quicker. Um, so I don't have to. Um, I choose to. So there you go. Um, I do want to point out the the area that on this return where the um, bubble algae was it is really going away uh, that stuff is just turning more translucent every day so it does a number on uh, bubble algae and it is slowly working its stuff on the bryopsis so if you're wondering about this product wondering should I get it is it worth it my answer is yes uh, now I am having a little as you can see that the glass is a little fuzzy with stuff and I would venture to guess that's probably because uh, with the bryopsis dying off this other little nuisance algae is popping up now I would venture to guess once the, the bryopsis really dies off and I just keep dosing this stuff that this stuff is going to go away as well uh, my algae or my uh, turbo snail is munching away so he's doing his job uh, my other big ones over there as you see this product does not harm the invertebrates in any way shape or form um, I have a starfish hiding in there somewhere big old serpent star he's just fine corals are fine uh, anemones fine fish are fine everything's alive and doing their thing so uh, this product does not harm uh, the reef in any way other than killing off the bryopsis and other algae. Uh, so with that being said, again I do apologize that this video is not going to be uploaded uh, when I want it to uh, just because my internet is down. Uh, I'm truly hoping it will pop up tomorrow, uh, which is Friday. If not, most likely it will probably be either Saturday or realistically next week uh, which really sucks um, so yeah there we go um, another round going in number seven there's the product right there uh, that is all you need this stuff is super concentrated if you've not been watching this video uh, an eight ounce bottle which runs you about 15 bucks uh, will treat about it will treat over 2,000 gallons. Uh, so this stuff is really super concentrate. It's only one milliliter per 10 gallons. Now, when I first got this product, I almost misread that label and put like six of these things in. I came real close. I was I kept reading that label going, that don't make sense. Why? What? And for some reason, my brain just was not registering it. I was tired. I just got off work when I put that in uh, on the first video, um, or right before I put it in on the first video. I, I bet it was like half an hour before I actually shot the video, and I, I just could not wrap my brain around the instructions for some goofy reason. And all of a sudden, I realized, oh, it's one million per ten gallons. So for some reason, I I reversed the two numbers and thought it was 10 milliliters per gallon. And I was like, good lord, this stuff's not going to treat 2,000 gallons. It's going to treat like four gallons. <laughs> so, uh, but no, this stuff is super concentrate. Um, it is doing wonders. Uh, there are bare spots. The anemone is starting to really stretch out on that side of the rock where before, um, if you watch the older videos and, and notice the uh, algae really was pressing uh, against the uh, an enemy um, so yeah um, it is what it is uh, since I uh, turned the one pump off I do have a little bit of debris floating around um, but that's okay no big deal it'll it'll get taken care of um, so yeah there we go um, if you have not subscribed to the channel absolutely hit that subscribe button uh, follow me on this journey of uh, 
madness, I guess you could say, uh, as this tank has frustrated me for quite some time. Uh, but uh, it is already starting to transform back into my favor. Uh, so follow it. Uh, see it become the tank that it used to be before all of this uh, started off. Uh, the original Bryopsis spot was actually right there in that area there. That is where it started. Um, I was an idiot and just reached in the tank and yanked it out by hand not knowing what it was. Uh, it soon uh, grew back in the same spot and also popped up in a few other places and I was like what in the world is going on. Uh, started throwing uh, some animals at it thinking well I'll just throw a, a lawnmower blending in there. Yeah, that'll take care of it. Lawnmower Blaney didn't touch it. He didn't survive after about, oh, I think he was around for about two months before he uh, had his own demise. Um, I think he jumped ship is what I think happened. Um, I can't be 100% certain. Um, but uh, it, it just progressively got worse. And I took pictures to various places and... Um, online stores and whatnot, asking what the heck is this and everybody gave me about five different answers so again I treated it five different ways and it just it became this before it was verified it was actually Bryopsis so it is what it is and uh, looks like we are fighting the good fight now uh, it has drastically reduced since I started this so, here we go with dose number seven. Oop, in it goes. Just like that. We'll let that sit for about 30 minutes before I turn those pumps back on and uh, get this tank circulating again. So the MP40s are on, but the sump is off. So that'll help spread this product around nice and good for a good 30 minutes, uh, which I feel is a fair amount of time for it to get... Uh, down into the nooks and crannies of this system and uh, really start doing some wonders against this uh, bryopsis. So the next video I'm hoping we'll have some more bare spots um, or even just uh, reduced volumes of algae and maybe some more clumps uh, attached to the MP40s um, like in the last video which that was really surprising to see. Uh, so there we go. Uh, upward and onward we go. Again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have questions about this product, uh, absolutely uh, send me a, a comment section down below. Uh, send me a private message, whatever. Uh, I will be glad to answer them uh, as best I can. If I don't have the answer, I will get the answer. That's not a problem. Uh, uh, the, the fine folks at Underwater Creations have been in contact with me. They have been watching these videos. Um, and uh, if anybody has questions and I don't have the answer, I will ask them directly and get those answers for you. Uh, or if you want to ask them directly yourself, you certainly can go visit their website, uh, go visit their Facebook page, um, check this product out, uh, check all the questions and answers on their Facebook page. Uh, there is a ton of them there. There's pictures, there's, there's, there's a lot of information on their Facebook page. Um, with that being said, have a good night. I will upload this uh, as soon as I possibly can, I promise. Um, so when you see this, it'll probably be a few days old. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I cannot fix the internet uh, at this point. So, oh well. Life goes on. Have a great night. Later.